All right, let's continue with the STDs. Um, question is, did STDs exist in the Renaissance? Yeah, of course. Pretty much where it started. So what are STDs again? So what do we have? We have a scientific. I guess if you're going to have a career that's sustainable, have it based on science, you know, so that it can withstand the test of time. So we're going to have that. So it's based on science, so scientific, and then trajectories. Trajectories just means it's going in a direction. It's moving in a consistent direction pushing energy and it's a distribution so once you get a trajectory established that will distribute the energy and the audience of course likes that and we want it to be a system because the system is going to be something that you can repeat over and over again so many times i look at art training and they're not giving the students the systems so they can repeat it and studios want to have you know a system so you know if you're working on a movie you know there's what do you got you know 1440 720 drawings per minute they have to be consistent and i'll teach you animation uh, it's got to be consistent it's got to be to a fraction of a line so it's got to be a system so you know what do we got here well let's take a look you know this will be uh the primary std going this way and then the secondary one it's really pretty much one. Rubens was really good with it. And then go this way, you go that way. So we have primary and then secondary and secondary. Because we're going to go this way, we'll push this. So this will be primary, secondary, and maybe tertiary. Not too many STDs in any one given drawing because it, uh, I don't know, confuses the audience. <coughs> okay, so we're going to put this aside. I'm going to listen to some music. But we can use this and get in there. And we want to have something nice and loose to um, to put the gesture in. So we can go like that if you want. That nice gesture. If you want, maybe we'll just go like this. Because I'm going to use a marker. So we'll go like that. There we go. Get that energy in there. So that's your gesture. Gesture is made up of STDs. And there you go. Let's have some fun with this. Okay. And then um, I'm going to use marker. Ta-da! And uh, we're listening to some music. Let's have fun and draw. Try to draw different places every time. Don't draw in the same the same place. Don't start always start in the same place. Okay. Can everybody see that? Yeah, that's kind of fun. I'm going to start with ribcage. That's a definite STD. Got a push going there. glare on the marker. That's funny. Let's try to balance it from this direction.
this is one, two, three. So it's one, two, three on the wave and then around. So it's three plus. So one, two, three, and then around. This is the femoris triangle. Always put that in and then start the leg after it, okay? Because of the tensor fascia latte, which is the Starbucks muscle, that goes all the way up to the iliac crest. And sometimes it's really prominent. And um, like on myself, you know, it gets really confusing, especially when you have to go to the bathroom. Because you got this very prominent shape here and you have other prominent shapes you have to get confused with. So leave this alone leave this open I, when i used to fly i used to hide my m m's in there it's empty it's just you got some you know your 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 um quads will attach in there and you got a big artery you know big deal right so it's a good place to hide m m m m's because tsa never you know they touch it but they never find it um but let's start the leg down here away from the femoris triangle all right
So that's the pushing right there. So that's an STD. Damn. You can put it in the background too. See? So we go from so if we go from here to here to there. There. That's a pretty cool STD. All right, call it a day.